Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dear Mona. My name is Pandora. In the last episode, she was getting morning sickness. So let's see. My son is calling for me. Chapter 11, An Unexpected Test. At the time, I figured I was sick because of what happened. Being confronted by both Sean and Mark... Well, it didn't make me sick to my stomach. I couldn't believe I was in a situation like this. I also had no idea what was go was to come. Oh God, I'm so nauseous. This situation must be really getting to me. Something just doesn't feel right. Sweetheart, are you okay in there? Can I come in? Sure, Mom. Are you sick? I'm fine. My stomach just feels a little off. I can't imagine. I couldn't help but notice there are two boys outside. They're still out there waiting for you. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I got myself into a terrible situation, Mom. So things were going well with Sean, but then Mark show showed up again. To put it simple, Simply, yes. I'm so confused. I was finally putting what happened with Mark behind me. I was moving on. Life has a way of throwing a wrench into the best laid plans. Do you want me to tell them to go home? Well, my shirt is stained and I feel disgusting. Wait, Mom, let me change first. Mm, what should I wear? I don't have any coins. Or diamonds. That's better. Doesn't look better to me. I thought you liked these boys. Well, I feel too sick to dress up. Fair enough. Now what about Mark and Sean? I feel like I have to explain. At least to one of them. I need to talk to Mark and Sean. Who should my mom bring in first? Sean. You can invite Sean in, please. Sure. I'll tell Mark you're not ready to see him right now. I'll tell and tell him I'm sorry. I will. <coughs> Thank you. I'll meet Sean in the kitchen. Are you all right? I'm okay. Just a little bit overwhelmed. I don't want to overwhelm you. I want to understand what you're going through. I'm so sorry I hurt you, Sean. You've been nothing but nice to me. Even now, you're giving me another chance. But I think I need some space right now. I don't expect you to wait for me. But I need to clear my thoughts. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. Listen, Pandora. As I told you, I don't have the best track record with girls. But for you, I want to try. I'll be waiting whenever you're ready. You don't have to do that. I want to. Just call me when you're ready to talk. I will. I guess this is goodbye then. Feel better, Pandora. Later at school. And you just ran away to throw up? How dramatic. Now, that's not the time to... Now is not the time for jokes, Mark. Max. Are you okay, Pandora? I still feel a little bit off today. My stomach does. I mean, maybe you should go home. Take the day to recuperate if you're sick. I already took a few days off. Then this whole mess started. I don't want to miss any more days. It's the beginning of the year and I have colleges to apply for. Yeah, but one day shouldn't hurt. Are you going through a lot right now? I'll say two guys fighting for you well they both know I need space and I really do I need to figure out 
what best for me. Do you think that's do you think that's the best decision? Cutting them both off? That's bound to make you sad. Do you think cutting both Max and Sean off is the best decision? Right now, yes. I do think it's the best for the best. I can't be in two places at once, and neither can my heart. I'm no good for either of them unless I figure things out. That's true. I support you, sister. Me too. I think you're doing the right thing. You do? Yeah. I'm happy you got you got out of the funk you've been in, but you've changed so much this year. I don't want to lose sight of what's important to you, like your schoolwork. I won't. From now on, it's all about me. <laughs> all about us, you mean. The Three Musketeers. Nothing can come between us. Right. And... Uh-oh. Pandora? Are you okay? If you both will excuse me, I'm going to be sick. Pandora? Are you are you in here? Yes. Sorry I'm late for class. I guess I'm not feeling well. I can see that. You look very pale. You should go home right away and get some rest. I didn't want to, but I suppose I should. Is everything okay? Blair and Max are waiting outside. They seem worried about you. Miss Lee wants to know whether everything's okay. What should I tell her? Be honest with her. Not really. There's a lot going on in my personal life. I see. So nothing has really been solved since we last spoke. Not really. Someone from my past recently came back. And it really interrupted my life. Not to mention my love life. I'm just so confused. It's okay to be confused. Especially when it comes to love. It comes with the territory. But everything will be okay. Trust me. Thanks, Miss Lee. Doesn't do well to puzzle things while you're sick. That's true. I'll go home and try to sleep. Have you been getting sick a lot recently? Just the past few mornings. Otherwise, I'm fine. Maybe a little bit tired than usual. Hmm. Well, I hope you don't think me an intrusive, and this is probably just because I have seven kids myself, but could you be pregnant? Miss Lee just asked if there's a chance I'm pregnant. What do I say? Absolutely not. No way. Absolutely not. Liar. Hmm. Look, Pandora. If you're not sure, take a test. Now, I'll meet you down at the front office. Tell the se secretary you're going home. Miss Lee question question left me bewildered. Back at home, I couldn't relax or sleep. Instead, I texted Blair, freaking out the whole time. And in the afternoon, it was time to face my fears. I can't believe I'm doing this. I hope no one sees me. Miss Lee has a point, Pandora. You do have a few of the symptoms. My period is late, too. And what happens to me sometimes, especially when I'm stressed out, that's why I wasn't worried about it now. Oh, God. I'm going to have a heart attack. This can't be happening. Look, I'm sure you're not pregnant. But isn't it better to find out either way? 
Blair thinks it's better to find out if I'm pregnant or not. Is she right? Yes. I guess so. It's all, that's, that's all I'm thinking about right now. I'd love to get it off my mind. Understandable. Now come on, let's pick out a test. This one looks good. Uh oh. Hi Pandora. Oh, <laughs> Stacy. What am I doing here? What? I mean, what are you doing here? Smooth, Pandora. I work across the street and I saw you come in. Crap, she'll see what we're doing. And you came to argue? No. Maybe I'd like to, but Sean is more important. What do you mean? I wanted to tell you something about Sean. I think you should hear it. Something about Sean. She's right. I should hear that. Besides, this is perfect. While I'm taking Stacy, uh, keeping Stacy occupied, Blair can buy the test. Um, how should I handle Stacy? Panic and tell her off. <laughs> no, Stacy, not now. You've been rude to me lately. I understand why, but I don't feel like talking to you. So yeah, you should leave. Leave? This is a public place, and you're acting funny. Why are, are you sweating? No. And what do you have? Where were you even? Wait, is that a pregnancy test? What? No. I'm not pregnant. I mean, I hope not. Oh crap. Pandora, shut up. Oh my god. It is a pregnancy test. It's not mine. It's Blair's. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're a real piece of work. I'm definitely telling Sean about this later. I just wish he wasn't so wrecked because of you. Darn you, Pandora. Some friend you are. Sorry, Blair. Well, that was a complete disaster. If you're not pregnant, none of this will matter. Let's hope so. You ready? No, but I guess I have to be. Let's go take that test. Crap. It's Sean. He's asking me about the pregnancy test. Stacy must have told him. Well, you can't apply now. We're at, we're at the midnight hour here. Help me, Blair. I'm terrified. Oh, Pandora. I can't take that test. I just can't. Blue lines. If you're really pregnant, which one of the guys will you stick with? Will stick with you. Well, that is it for this episode. And, whoa. She could be pregnant, but whose is it? I'm leaning more towards Sean, because Sean was her first, first time. But, I will see y'all in the next episode. If you like this series, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon because I post twice a day. And I'll see you lovelies in the next video. If you're not afraid, open that box. Bye guys.